Hi, welcome to module two. In this module, you're going to level up your Swift skills and you're going to be able to do some pretty cool things in Swift. Now, in addition to learning more Swift, you're also going to dive into the UIKit library, which is an Apple framework that contains many user interface elements. Now, when we're building a new app, we rarely build everything from scratch all over again. The UIKit library is going to go a long ways towards saving us time and effort. Now toward that end, Apple also has a great set of documentation to tell us how and when to use the UIKit library. Now don't get me wrong, Google is a great resource that I love to use as well, but the Apple documentation is accessible from within Xcode and sometimes it's just easier and faster to launch the Apple Docs. Lastly, I wanna leave you with some practical tips as you learn these new Swift concepts. After most lessons where I introduce a new concept, you're gonna find a worksheet or exercise and I highly recommend that you do these because it's going to help you remember the syntax and keywords better. Now, something that I don't recommend is trying to memorize this syntax and keywords because that's not the right way to go about it and typically people just get frustrated. Now, what you can do is have the Swift cheat sheet handy beside you and refer to it when you need to, to remind you about those keywords in the syntax. And as you code more, you're gonna one day realize you don't even need that cheat sheet at all. Now, all of this hard work that you're putting into this module is going to help you build more complex apps and apps that can do more. Does that sound good? All right, I'm done talking. I'll see you in the next lesson.